I'm Jasmine Black. I'm in my second year at Newcastle University and I'm studying um, climate change and anthropogenic land use effects on soil organic carbon dynamics at tropical rainforest boundaries, um, specifically in Guyana in South America. So I'm looking at lignin, um, cutin and subarin, which are plant parts. And these are parts of the plants which um, form part of the structure, so then what makes a plant rigid. And I'm looking about at how these degrade and are broken down within soil. They, these compounds store a lot of carbon, so they're quite important when you're thinking about carbon stocks. Um, and with climate change, if we get a warming, then this carbon could potentially be released from the soil into the atmosphere, and this causes a positive feedback, which basically means that there'll be more warming and more release of carbon. Um, but it's important to have this baseline study to know how much carbon is in the soil um, so that we can use that for climate models, for predictions, and we can take that further and do experiments to see what would happen with the soil if perhaps that was going, going to heat up, whether that would cause a greater breakdown of this carbon released into the atmosphere, and so on. I would like to think that my research would be able to inform the management practices of um, the people that live in the area that I did my field work, so hopefully it can prepare them for a, a, a more sustainable future with how they use their land. And I think, in general, it's good to get an idea of carbon stocks in, in that area because of climate change. So it will Im inform us and give us an idea of what may happen in the future. I really enjoy the field work. Um, I really enjoy going out and meeting um, the indigenous um, communities out there and learning about how they think about sustainability and how they view their land and protecting it and conserving biodiversity. Um, and I really, I feel quite strongly about climate change and the fact that we should all really, this is something we should really care about and something we need to take action on and we have to learn more about in a short amount of time so that we can respond quickly to changes that are happening and, and will be happening in the future. I would very much like to be able to present my work at public events such as workshops and public lectures. I think getting the public interacting with soil and understanding exactly what it is and you know doing some texture tests and some of the simple pH tests and, and really get sort of getting to grips with it and, and working with it will really help them to understand um, why it's so important and how it is so connected to us. I think a lot of people forget that most of our food, in fact 99% of our food comes from soil um, and it's it's very important that we preserve that and we look after it as a resource um, and we think of it in a, in a way as a non-renewable resource so it's, it's very important to look after. I hope that we can make soil a, a, a more public um, domain and we can get people to think more about it and consider it um, in their everyday lives and um, so we can help to protect it and um, next generations and to keep it sustainable so I hope that um, people will take I hope that we can make people take more notice and carry on our research and maybe you know encourage more people to study soil science and maybe bring that more into the education to the curriculum so that people are more aware of it from a younger age and that they really um, they really enjoy it so they would like to study it. Um, I think it needs maybe more of a positive light shedding on it so and more interaction with the public definitely. <laughs>